Jesus wants to make our lives better and not bitter. A covenant with God attracts a protection from God. Do you know why I'm protective to my wife? It is because I have a marriage covenant with her. And nobody should try to joke with her. Praise the Lord. Nitamulinda kulingana na uwezo nilio now. Ninajua kama mwanadamu niko na limitation. Lakini niko na jukumu ya kulinda mke wangu kwa sababu tuko katika angano ya ndoa. Wakati naingia katika angano na Mungu, agano hilo linatulinda. Kila kinafanya wachawi warusha mishale na hata kabla aujajua Mungu anaitegoa na anawarudishia hata kabla hujaomba ni kwa sababu ya agano kila kinafanya wa Kristo wengi waendelee kuomba na ma, mapepo yanawapiga ovyo ovyo mishale inarushwa na inaendelea kuwakamata ni kwa sababu ya kukosa agano wakati uko na agano Mungu amejiapa kuweza kukulinda na kuombea katika mwaka huu wachawi wasikuchezee katika jina la Yesu watapigana na where is no backing of god there is no guarantee of victory there is no backing of god there is no guarantee of victory there is no backing of god there is no guarantee of victory god proverbs 10 verse 22 the blessing of the lord make it rich it endeth no sorrow unaweza ukafanikiwa huko nje kwa bidii zako but that one does not Guarantee a sorrow-free life. What guarantees a sorrow-free life is a covenant with God. Praise the Lord. Hiyo covenant umeingia na mungu, diyo inasababishanga mungu, akubatia mali, na pia aondoe sorrow. Tunaelewa ya kwamba, watu wengi leo wakona pesa, lakini wengi walio na pesa, nyumba zao ni makemestri. Si imejaa mandawa. Kakitu kadogo wamekula poison. Yano nazikia food poisoning. Wanajua, mii na shanganga. Watu wengi awana pesa, uzikiangi mambo ya food poisoning. Lagi itajiri. Unawada wana mefika mahali, akienda kwa viyama, ama akienda kwa vitu, uwa akula kuli ovi ovio. Yano unawada ya kwamba, wakati ambapo amepata hii pesa, hii pesa imekua isho. Wakati ambapo mungu amekubariki kupitia angano, mali yako utaikula kwa hamani. Sama amen. In every step of your life, make sure that you obey God. Maana, hiyo tochote ambato utaaccumulate, ukiwa unamuti mungu, the remainder, God protects it. Chapter Genesis, chapter 12, verses 1. Mungu anaongea na Abraham katikati ya watu wako, katika inji yako nani nita kupatia inji nyingine mungu wame muambia nita laani atakaya kulaani nita ba akichagua nigani mzuri na machi kabisa siku hile ulikuwa na muka tuna chukua rinda unaweka yinga inaweka una high lashes una kuja za kuongesa ulikuwa na keep time praise the lord kwa siku hile tu ulikuwa na chukua kama unakale Kama rashka waria unachukua maramoja unakashika hivo ukiendanga Unakarusha hapo kwa meza hata wangalipa leka meanguka Praise the Lord Lakini wakati pesa inaingia Manukato ya mbei Nguwa za mbei Diatu za mbei Umejua kumach Unachelewa Unasahau ya kwamba Hata hizo vitu unajipaka ni mali ya mungu Praise the Lord So mungu anasema kwamba Once he blesses you as a result of a covenant he will protect you and whoever shall rise against you to destroy you the Lord will tell them stop don't destroy them for a blessing is praise the Lord as a result of the covenant the blessing preserves your life the examples of people who were protected by a covenant Genesis chapter 8 verses 20 and Noah builded an altar unto the Lord and took of every clean beast and of every clean 
vow and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savor, and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again cast the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite anymore everything living as I have done. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Verses nine, verses, uh, chapter 9, verses 1. And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. Baada ya Noah kujenga madhabao na kutoa sadaka zake. Nataka niseme kwamba yale madhabao alipoyajenga na kuweka sadaka inamaanisha kwamba aliingia katika angano na Mungu. Because there is no any way you can enter into a covenant with God without an offering, without a sacrifice. That is why in the book of Psalm chapter 50 gather unto me my saints who have entered into a covenant with me by sacrifice a covenant you cannot wish it to be in a covenant with God no you have to raise an altar and give a sacrifice for that altar so the sacrifice brought the covenant and the covenant brought the blessing and the blessing brought the backing of God Father in the name of Jesus I thank you because of this my viewer wherever they are getting this messenger Baba naomba mkono wako weju yao ninaomba kwa huyo mtu alio tanzama ujumbe huu katika jina la Yesu Christo muondole kipo cha mapema muondole adui wakatisha maisha yao maroya kuaribu baraka zao yaka sinu katika jina la Yesu ozao wao ukalindo na bwana katika jina la Yesu pia shara zao sipanuke chochote kinapa itanisho na wao kikapanuke katika jina la Yesu Christo mano wa mungu alie hai amen and amen Sila wataunda Sio kumanisha adui amekufa Apana Lakini anaweza tu Akapata na fasi Wakati amerusiwa Kwa sababu ya manandamu kufunja The terms of the covenant Kiangalia maisha ya, ya job Shetani alifika mahali akasema Amelindo pande zote Na mahali zote alizo nazo Lakini job katika kuinuka kwake alianza ku lose faith na Mungu akaiweka sana katika kile alicho nacho akaanza kuongopa he began to fear instead of trusting in God that is why nataka tuamini Mungu hata Mungu akikuinua kiwango gani cha pesa akikuinua kiwango gani cha mali uendelee kuweka imani ile ile uliyokuwa nayo hata kabla haujapata chochote sema amen Bidi ulie kuwa nayo Kabla utapata kazi Kabla utapata pesa Lazima uindumishe Ili uendelea kuendelea Kupata ulinzi kulingana angano Sama amen So job Bada kuwa mku kabisa Katika watu wa mashariki Na unajua tuliona Watu wa mashariki Walikuwa ni wasomaji wa nyota Walikuwa ni watu ambao Walijua uchawi vizuri so Job akaanza kuongopa Bila nasema kwamba What I feared Sini Job alisema Kila nilicho kiongopa Kime nijilia Sema amen So akaanza kuongopa kulusi mali yake Kwa hivyo akalusi mali Akaanza kuongopa kulusi watoto Akalusi watoto Praise the Lord Ayubu tatu ishirina tanu For the thing which I greatly feared Is come upon me and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. What do I say? My God, Mungu tu aleruzu chetani ashike job. Kwanini? Because we deal with God on the basis of a covenant, and that covenant, ili fanye kazi, we must have faith in Him. For without faith, nobody can please God. So lazima uwe na imani. 
katika kile alichosema maana Job tunaona alikuwa mtakatifu alikuwa mkamilifu alikuwa mcha Mungu lakini imani yake aliondoa kwa Mungu akaanza kuongopa maana amepata mali akaanza kuongopa wachawi akaanza kuongopa waizi wakati Job alianza kuogopa sasa hapo ndipo shetani alipata nafasi that is why nimesema kwamba Mungu anapotubariki we also must be careful on how we are dealing with God wakati baraka inakuja unaweza ukaona mtu ambao amechangamka mtu aliye na imani mtu anaingia kanisa vizuri wacha apate kazi amepata usingizi there is no backing of god there is no guarantee of victory Aki, akichagua ni gani mzuri na match kabisa siku ile ulikuwa unaamka tu unachukua rinda unaweka hii ngai inaweka una highlights una kuja za kuongeza ulikuwa una keep time <laughs> praise the lord kwa siku hiyo tu ulikuwa unachukua kama unakale kama rush ka waria unachukua mara moja unakashika hivyo ukiendanga unakarusha hapo kwa meza hata uangalie pale kameanguka praise the lord lakini wakati pesa inaingia manukato ya mbei nguo za bei viatu za mbei umejua ku match unachelewa unasahau ya kwamba hata hizo vitu unajipaka ni mali ya Mungu praise the lord before he fell maana nasema i was not in safety What does that mean? That is past tense. I said I'm not in safety. And I said I was not. Praise the Lord. Sikuwa na raha, sikuwa na usalama, nilikuwa naongopa vitu na aliongopa zote zilimjilia. So fear will cost you a lot. Ni vizuri wakati unaingia katika angalo na Mungu, the moment it begins to leap to your life, lazima ukue very very careful. So Jacob kwenye kitabu cha Genesis chapter 31 verse 24 God is telling Laban you don't want me to touch you don't touch Jacob Kama hutaki nikunguze usimunguze Yakobo wala usiseme neno lolote zuri au mbaya And God came to Laban the Syrian in a dream by night and said unto him Take heed that thou speak not to Jacob either good or bad. Praise the Lord. Yaani wakati Laban amepanga kubomboa Yakobo. Mungu anamtokea usiku na anamwambia usiongee na Yakobo neno zuri au mbaya wala usimnguze. Kumaanisha kwamba ukiwa na angano na Mungu hata uongea na kuonya maadui zako katika ndoto. Praise the Lord. Ninakuombea siku ya leo maadui zako Mungu aongee na wao katika ndoto. Wale wamepanga kuja kukoroga, Mungu awaambie don't touch my anointed one. Sema amen. Sema amen. So when you walk in covenant, God appears to to people and in this case your enemies in their dreams on your behalf by covenant you are not available for any witch you might be physically available but absolutely inaccessible they can see you but they cannot touch your life so my man yani physically wanakuona but practically they cannot access your life genesis 35 verses 5 and they journeyed and the terror of god was upon the cities that were found about them and they did not pursue after the sons of jacob wakati jacob ametoka kwa laban biblia nasema wakapitia katika minji wakaenda safari na hofu ya mungu ilikuwa juu ya kila mahali walipopitia na hakuna mtu aliwafuatilia wana wa yakobo na hii ndio nimesema mara nyingi kwamba when you enter into a covenant you do not only uh, secure your destiny you secure your destiny and the destiny of your offsprings praise the lord yaani unasaidia wewe na unasaidia watoto wako na wajukuu wako maana kupitia kwako kuna 
makabila ya watu yanakuja huko nyuma yako praise the lord so unapoingia angano usiingie kama mtu selfish unajua mimi nimeona wakulima wakati mwingine wanapandanga miti yenye hata hawata wai kula kwa kuna miti ingine kitambo izae iko na miaka 20 iko na miaka 30 na mzee anapanda akiwa na miaka 70 anaipanda ako na vision watoto wake watarithi praise the lord tunajenga manyumba watoto wetu warithi tunajenga tunafanya vitu watoto wetu warithi but unfortunately watu wala wanaridhiki mali zetu Mimi nafikiri kama mwanadamu akiwa amekufa anaezaangalia chini na akaona vile mali zao zinatumika wange ringrate kwa nini siku tumekia Mungu na mali yangu praise the lord praise the lord baada unaachia watoto wengine wana squander everything kuna watu wengine wanakuja hapo wayakula mali yako yaani kama uko kwa roho uko kwa spirit na umekufa uwezo kurudi Uko hapa unauma kidola ya ngai, ningeshuka hapa hawa, ngai. Na vile wametafuna mahali yangu. Na vile ni kataa kutumikia mungu. Tumikia mungu na mahali yako. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Psalm 49 verse 17. Naipata? Zaburi ya rubaina tisa mstari wa kumina saba. Maana atakapo kufa, hata chukua chochote. Maana atakapo kufa, hata chukua chochote. Utukufu wake... Hauta shuka ukimfuata. Hauta shuka ukimfuata. Lakini unaona kwamba mtu anapokufa mali zako azita kufata na hautaenda na chochote. Tena utukufu uliyekuwa nao hauta kushuka, hauta kufata, hauta shuka nao kutoka mlango wa pili 23 hadi 25. So ni vizuri tujifundishe Mali zetu zitumikie Mungu. Tuwe na kumbukumbu. Yaani iwe Mungu anaweza akakukumbuka tu na akasema kwamba because you served me. Hata watoto wako hawataingia kwa dhambi. And it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel sighed by the reason of the bondage and they cried and their cry came up unto God by reason of the bondage. And God heard their groaning. And God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. 